Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormack and welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. I'm going to take a look at the new updates in Lightroom 8.2 today. Hi folks, Lightroom 8.2 is out. And I'm kind of slightly behind the curve on this one, just because I've had a very busy couple of days. I was actually doing a talk in Dublin uh, the day it came out, so I didn't get a chance to get anything live. And then I was really just busy catching up on normal work over the last couple of days. But I'm going to dive in. I know, yes, I know I'm late, and you've already seen this, but I'm gonna, still going to have a little chat about it. So let's let's have a quick look. Right, there's two kind of main things. The first one is for tethering. Um, let me just come out of my screen flow. In tethered capture, we start tethered capture. You now have camera control for Nikon cameras the same way as you have for Canon. So that means you can physically change the settings in the camera um, from inside Lightroom. So only Nikon and Canon do it at the moment. Right, the big, big thing is this thing called enhance details, right? So the idea is that files the mosaic. So what it is is, your raw converter makes a guess at what's the best rendering for the information in camera. So generally speaking, there's twice as many green pixels as there are red and blue pixels. And each pixel only has one color. So what happens is Lightroom has to guess what the actual color is, or any raw converter has to guess what the color is based on the surrounding pixels. So X-Trans uses a kind of an X array, everyone else is using a bear array. And so they produce slightly different effects. Now, Lightroom finds it very hard with X-Trans files, but there are other files where there are issues. Right, so here I have an image that's already got enhanced details run on it, and here's the original. As we look backwards and forwards between them, we can pretty much see absolutely no difference whatsoever. All right, so let's zoom in here a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in for this branch here, and I'm gonna to go to compare view. So I don't normally use compare view, but this is perfect for what it is. And I have the lock on and the zoom on so that when I drag, we can have a look across and see stuff. Now, straight off the bat, right, this is the candidate. So this is the RAF file and this is the enhanced DNG file. Now, it may be harder to see in this video because the video is going to be dropped in resolution from the 5K I have on screen here down. But I can clearly see here that these edges here along this branch, that this branch is sharper than the branch here. This appears a little bit muddy in comparison. Uh, this, the, the overall file that just looks sharper. Okay, so let's go over here to some of the grass. And there's a couple of leaves along grass where I could clearly see that the actual grass was sharper. So even along here, when we click here to the enhanced, we can see that the blades of grass compared to here do look sharper and these just look slightly muddier and squishier. It's actually really, really interesting, right? And um, if I come up here to like in the branches and stuff like that where it's kind of out of focus, even if I zoom in a little bit more, Four to one is probably too much, but on some of these you can clearly see. See here we got this kind of mush going on here and this kind of color bleed. That's not happening over here. So the demosaic is doing a much better job on this particular image. And it does work on stuff for this lots of highlights and detail and stuff like that. Now, as you can see, I'm at four to one. So on a one to one, you're not gonna see it. And um, here's another one here. There's the enhanced DNG. And so the DNG is now the candidate. So just so we're clear, or no, it's actually the select and then the candidate is the other one. So here I found that we're getting, you know, in some ways it's about the backlight as well, where we're getting the stuff where it's just, there's way more color and this one has just got better definition. And so there's all this kind of spurious color going on here. It does help with that. So let's actually look at it in process. No, that's not what we want to be looking at. And come out and compare there for a second. E, D, D for develop and just go to this image on its own. Right, so I'm just going to work around the side. This is a studio lit shot, right? And there's obviously poor detail here and stuff like that. Now, normally I would show these images as retouched, but here I want to see what's actually going on with the actual texture itself. So I go up here to photo and I go enhance details. It will bring up the enhance details menu, which will load the file. And it will give you now what enhanced detail has to do. Let me let me talk about what enhanced details is. 
right, which I haven't mentioned. Enhanced details is a new way of demo mosaicing. So it's a new way of taking information from the sensor and creating a new file of it to give you more detail. So see here, so the enhance view here, have a look at these pores, right? It's gonna click without enhance and with enhance. So it's gone from being mushy and lacking in detail to having way, way more detail and being much sharper, okay? And this is very, very clearly evident here in this preview, right? Now it's giving me an esti time, estimated time of 15 seconds. So that's gonna tell me how fast it thinks it's gonna process this file. So I'm just gonna create this enhanced DNG. So what it does is it creates a new DNG, but it also stores the original file inside it. So the original file and the enhanced DNG. So the idea is that you still don't lose your RAF file. Now, because it's embedding a new file inside it and it's creating a new domain mosaic, it's actually a huge file. We'll look at that in a second. Um, and when it's done, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Command R and that will open this up in Finder. Okay, so here we have the file. All right, so we can see that my original file. Now, my original file is a, is a compressed RAF. So it would normally be a 50 megabyte file, but it's down to 24.6. We can see that the DNG is 117.6, so a much larger file. So you have to really want to use this, uh, okay? So let's jump back here and go for our compare again. So that is the enhanced DNG, this is the RAF. So just select that and press C to compare. Okay, so straight away, you can see that there's way more detail in here than there is in here. All right, there's a lot more sharpness and definition and stuff like that, whereas this just appears to be a lot more mushy. So we've got some really, really fine texture going on here that we're not seeing in the actual RAF file. So folks, that's a look at enhanced detail. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do a quick jump across to uh, Chrome here. And on the blog that adobe.com, you have February, February dash Lightroom releases. Right, where it talks about this stuff. Oh, no, we don't want to go that way. I need to turn off that swipe. That's really annoying me. So we have a little bit of talk about it. You can see their regular mosaic there kind of change as well. It's a bit about Lightroom CC where it has the new panel merge, which we got in classic already. And um, so it's just kind of do updates together. The other thing is mentioned here is what I saw with the classics, right? There is a what's new if you want to go to the what's new page. You know, the what's new is updated with each release. So you get the new features as it goes. So it's talking about in hand details, faster tethering, and then support for new cameras. There's also obviously all of the bug fixes and stuff like that, but that's where you can find them. And there's also a white paper on enhanced details, which talks about this in a lot more specific detail. And it goes into how the mosaic can happen. And the whole point that, you know, what your camera actually shoots is a monochrome image. And then it has this pixel filter on it that makes you kind of guess what it is. But as you can see, it actually really does look green. I talked about the bear pattern. That's the bear pattern. This is the X-trans pattern. Um, it doesn't look very X-like. If you kind of squint in, you can kind of see an X here. And that's where the idea where the X comes from. Or even here, like it's a sideways X. All right. So that gives you detail about it and talks a bit more about how to fix all of the issues and stuff like that, right? So you can check those out. So folks, that's been my look at enhanced details and a quick look at what's going on with Lightroom 8.2. If you like that, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, give the video a like and I will see you in the next video.